I just woke up. Okay, I'm looking a little bummy. But Nick and Carla are coming up with these videos back to back. They are not playing around. No, they are not. They are settled now and they're coming up with these fire videos. And listen, I am entertained, so I'm a react. They uploaded a video called Exposing MW OG Wise Malaika, Malaika Wilson. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know. I don't know who MW is. I think I missed some things, okay? But they're going to fill in the holes for me as I watch this. Are y'all ready to react? Because I am. Let's get it. Because when you're dealing with an individual like this, this is the type of individual that lies. Sick. Nothing about Nick and her fucking masculinity. Nothing about Carla looking like Caesar. And they, I never said that. I ain't never said Carla looked like Caesar. You ain't nobody else did. You know what I'm saying? They said she looked like an ape. But I ain't never fucking say that. I have never fucking said that. Out my fucking mouth. I've never said that. About anybody. But you're saying it now, though. It's it's an indirect way of saying it. But okay, keep going. Never. Never. I have it. You and everybody that follows Nick and Carla, Lily, uh, B, Sweet Ma, King and Corner, all of y'all have the same fucked up ass energy. Nick's ass is a whole fucking supposed to be stud and she's sitting up there gossiping. Why don't y'all go get some? Why don't you go slap? That's that toxic masculinity that I keep on talking about on my channel. Did you hear what she just said about Nick? Just because Nick is a stud, she can't gossip because she's masculine presenting. Now there's rules to the gay community. That's a straight thing that the toxic men have created. Masculine presenting lesbians like you bring that toxic into our world. I know some get your pussy ape. Why don't that nigga go fuck Carla's uh, uh, ape looking fucking ass? If you don't have Ooh. a way to prove you said it, girl. You said it. I heard it. It came from your mouth. You called her an ape. Things that you're dealing with are, thankfully, I have no idea why I started screenshotting this person back in 2021 when they was doing what they were doing. This is before they even created uh, uh, their videos. It was your intuition. It was my intuition. Pisces intuition. I didn't even have this this amount. Yeah. It's like this the you'll person you're dealing like, with. You'll look crazy. Yep. This disclaimer, I have no intentions on reading this every video. You I was going to say, disclaimer. girl, I was going to say, I know a lot of a lot of reactors use this before they start reacting. I'm not going to. If you're dumb enough to send me something without really knowing the law, that's your own fault. You're wasting your energy, your time, your money, your attorney fees, because these cases of defamation of character are hard to win. We're in the description of every video as well as in the description of this YouTube channel. Let's get into this. What is up, you guys? Okay, so since we are in the zone of addressing things um, and getting things off our chest, we thought it would be a great opportunity to go ahead and speak to this. I know some people may see the thumbnail. Some people may see the title. And they may it's a wonder, badass thumbnail. why are they addressing this person like why are they even giving this attention and it's because we've been dealing with this person they've been moving it because you have the right to defend yourself you have the right to speak your piece in the shadows since about 2020 2021 damn and um i'm gonna try to put as many receipts as i can Ooh. i mean i put everything in the video but at least enough to try to help support our story so that not only can we go ahead and put it out there so y'all can know what we've been dealing with y'all can also see what type of person this is and if we ever need this information in the future hopefully we'll have a place where everything is organized to kind of mm, help us um, if we ever Smart. If we ever need it but this person is building up this narrative about us and they've been on this mission since 2021 is actually since 2021 i left youtube that year og wise i just learned about her during this drama and i still haven't gone over to her channel to check her out just her sending cease to cease letters already i have no interest but i mean let me know what happened behind the scenes um, i have the thumb the screenshot where i had to tell this person like look like you doing too much in our comment section and i so mw is og wise that's the one that you guys are talking about with, with these fake pages can i just say this 
if you done left 74 comments and we only hearted six, <laughs> it's because your ass negative. That means that 60 plus of your comments, comments? Yeah. got on our motherfucking nerves. Yes. Wow, 74 comments? Girl. You guys do know whenever you do leave a comment, we can click onto that comment and it'll show us all the comments you've left on our channel. So if you want to kiss ass today and pretend like you're on my side, I can click onto that comment and see all the previous comments that were so negative bashing me. I can already see you're not the type of person I want to fuck with. You're two-faced. You're all over the place. That fake love we do not need. And for those of you who are just listening to the video currently on the screen, I have a screenshot of MW, how long she had the channel at the time, which was wow. four years. It also shows how many comments she left on our channel, which was 74. We only hearted six of them here. And this video was recorded September of 2021. I learned a really good... I like these arrows. Whoever is editing this, I love it because people who don't know how to read these, this YouTube stuff, it, you guys did a good job um, pointing everything out. Lesson to Yes. Yeah. Yes. That your ass should have been gone a long time ago. It's deeper than that. No. That's <laughs> what I learned. Well, I just don't want people to And think. I was just like, why like, is no. this person still here? Because they have been irritating me. Because we don't block people because they disagree or because they just show uh, their ass in the comments. No, I don't block anybody. I even heart the negative comments because you left me a comment supporting my channel. Still, you guys all have a voice on my platform, negative or positive. It, it's not even that they were showing the ass. It was just like, you're annoying. Yeah. Because you disturbed my day. This when our channel was still small. We probably mm. had like maybe 4,000 subscribers, 5,000 or whatever. Mm. But when that Lily and Graham's breakup happened, I think it like flipped the switch in this person and just made her go off into the deep end. So, um, yeah, that's when it really all started. We was doing the, the reactions to Lily and Grams when they had the breakup, we were sharing our opinions. And, uh, when we called Grams out for not speaking to anything and just speaking in circles, that's kind of when she, uh, revealed herself and her channel name was M W. Mm -hmm. um so Damn. you know she's responding to other people in her comment section going off going in and then when she, i was like she cool but the minute she started directing herself towards us she was like i'm a sagittarius sagittarius and, and libras don't go and I just doing all i said the minute she start <laughs> getting on my nerves that's when i'm just gonna have to go ahead and block her i know carla's a sag uh my ex-wife was a sag and i was a pisces so i know the dynamic there we didn't work out for many reasons, but that'll be in my Q&A video. Y'all look out for that soon. So this is the screenshot. I'm sure it's on the screen by now. Just me explaining to her, you know, like why we had to block. And here's that screenshot. I said, MW, we have no issue with people sharing their opinion about these YouTubers. If we did, then we would have blocked you a long time ago. Mm. The point is, if every time we see your name and it becomes aggy because of the energy you bring, then rather than seeing your negative ass in our comment section, we'd rather just block. Perfect example. Today, I'm having an amazing day, but since I read your comment, I'm annoyed, which is often the case with you. But if I would have blocked you a while back, then this would have not be happening right now. Mm. If you think we block people because they disagree with us, then you just don't get it. Mm. But the weird thing that happened after, so in her, in her, uh, in her comment, Nick is a beast. She's a beast. In a good way. <laughs> I'm saying in a good way. It's a compliment. Trust me. It says something about like I got a roommate and we disagree about Trump and but we still can have a conversation. Da 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 da. And I blocked her account. I mean, I blocked her comments so we didn't have to see her anymore. And I was like, "Woo! I'm glad I blocked all that energy." She was like, "I got a famous brother. I'm gonna use my brother and we gonna blow up and we gonna do this and I'm gonna expose how biased y'all are." I was like, "Oh my so god!" Glad I blocked. That comment. That's a weird ass person day, too. Honey. 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 That's that why. Was... That's why her and Grams got together. That's why they have so much in common. They're both weirdos. I'm weird. Weird is a good thing, but they're weirdos. Come back. <laughs> another account was created, guys, uh, and yeah. I got that screenshot Who too. That another is? account was yeah. created where she was saying pretty much the same shit. Some about Donald Trump, roommate, Real nice. disagreeing, y'all. This is on the screen look at it 
And here are the two screenshots Paragraphs? side by side. If you want to take the time to read it, there's Books? from W's initial Stories? comment. Also mentioning how she has a roommate who voted for Trump and how they can still have a good conversation. That's when I responded to her, told her I was going to block her. Then shortly after she comes with this. Okay, this is a stalker. <laughs> this is a bit much. I mean, I, I don't think I still would have blocked her. I just wouldn't read all of it. The first few sentences i was like okay this is the crazy person i'm not gonna poke the bear you know what i'm saying because once you give them that little bit of attention they're gonna keep going at you newly account again mentioning her roommate who voted for trump and that she likes to have healthy debate this is when we knew we were dealing with a cuckoo bird yeah and cuckoo for cocoa puffs 2021 so yeah. i was like i told carla i was like carla this bitch created another account <laughs> and she's leaving a comment from another account and it was the crazy. it was the same type of i comment. almost spilled out my coffee i mean a lot of times the comments were copied and paste you could tell that it was just like mm. copy and paste and then they had multiple accounts matter of fact look at this screenshot mm -hmm. right here where you have her leave a comment then she respond to a copy and paste the same long ass paragraph yeah. then another one where she copy and paste the same long y'all the same so we was dealing with this person so Oh, gee, I got a question for you, girl. If you're married and there's children, minors or adults, whatever, they're still children to you, right? You got a lot of time to be on social media. How? This is social media. People from the streets, like from the hood hood, they're not even on here <laughs> leaving stories, leaving books on people's pages. They don't give a fuck about this type of stuff. And you talking about Nick gossiping? Girl, what that is? You're gossiping. Ain't you a stud? Ain't you not supposed to be doing this? Gossiping is only for the feminine women. I thought you knew. Coming, different comments, different accounts, leaving comments, different accounts. And yeah. what me and Carla are doing, we just like, Crazy okay, block it. Girl. MW back again. Oh, block it. Yes. MW back again. Block it. Finally, she was. That's when she did the threat. I'm gonna get my famous brother, and we going I'm gonna blow up my account, and I'm gonna expose how biased y'all are. I talked about you people. I'm here, and I done called y'all names. Never did that. Yes, I used to follow y'all. Yes, and comment. The only thing I would say to you guys is how come you are being biased. That's it. And I was like, Ugh. why is she so aggressive? Finally, it got real. Why is she so aggressive? Their commentary has nothing to do with her and her life. Sorry, that's my dog playing with his toy. I'm gonna let him play with his toy because I've been neglecting him lately. So he needs his playtime. I'ma give it to him. He deserves it. Okay. Anyways, she acting like Nick and Carla have been attacking her for years or some. Oh my god. So are these voice notes that she left for you guys? Why? On your Instagram? <laughs> so for a few months, we just live in our life. We reacting, probably was reacting to like Easy and Natalie or something like that. Yeah. Then all of a sudden our DMs start blowing up. Mm. And they like, Nick and Carla, it's this person that's reacting. She talking about uh y'all <laughs> and shit's people in the comment section talking about y'all. It's like Sorry for all the pauses, but listen, I have a lot to say. So that's why she started her reaction channel. To get back at Nick and Carla. Oh, okay. So, finally went over there to look. And then I'm reading the comments. And the comments was going in. Like, they have passion about how much they disliked us. I was like, damn, what we do to piss all these people off? So, then finally, I was like, MW. It's like the name clicked in my head again. That Pisces and shit. Like, Let me see if this person blocked. I looked at it and I got this screenshot too. I clicked it to see if she was blocked, y'all. MW, it's, it's a block. Wow. It's a, do you want to unblock the person? Like the, the screenshot is on the, wow. on the camera. And I was like, I was like, this is her. I said, she actually created a YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. And I There's think a face to like, her now. I'm glad she created one. Actually, Hell yeah. actually, before that, Nick was already like, she said, I hope they create a YouTube channel so that people can see just how cuckoo they are. And then when and I not only that, so she can also experience the negative comments that she's been leaving Nick and Carla. And she couldn't even handle it. You just had your foot in the door and you're already and you're already sending out cease and desist letters because you're in your feelings. Like I said, she's not made for YouTube. She don't got the skin for it. A lot of comments <laughs> in the comment section just going a lot of the, A lot of these negative people in our comment section can't handle what we do. And they know that. That's why they stay behind that screen and behind that keyboard with no picture and keep doing this because it's easy. Doing what we do, 
It ain't easy. Nikki Carla this. And yeah, Nikki Carla all these. I was like, I was like, did she create a YouTube channel? And she's using these different comments. Like, so literally, y'all imagine this. Mm. She created the YouTube channel, made the video. She logs out, logs into another account, YouTube account, typing shit about us, going to like making it seem like all these people had all this to say, y'all, we wasn't even that big yet. I was like, this bitch crazy as hell. She is crazy. And she, she wasn't even that big to have people in It was her, her first video. Like as a matter yeah. of fact, listen to this clip of what she said, the reason why she created this video, this uh, YouTube channel. What's up, you two? Already aggressive. What's up? Already mad and angry. It's MW, and I thought I would finally make a video because I'm tired of getting black. Black, black. Y'all keep blocking the nigga because I be speaking facts and you don't like what I be saying. But it's all good, though, because I'm going to say what I got to fucking say to that. He yeah. said, I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. Something about y'all keep blocking me. Why would we have to keep blocking, blocking you, you if, if you, you had one account? Right. It's because you're creating multiple accounts. So then we just sat there. As the years happen, we watched Sweet Mom upload videos. We watched, uh, I think, Told by T was doing videos at that time. Anybody who spoke. I got to watch Sweet Ma's videos. I haven't yet, but I've heard of her. And she's been very supportive on my channel. She's been leaving comments, so I appreciate you, girl. But I got to look into your videos. I know you've done videos on grams of about her being a narcissist and all that. So I'm gonna check you out, girl. Just, just give me a second, because I'm still trying to get the hang of things coming back to YouTube. So give me a second, though. I'll watch them. On it. And they felt like they was getting lit up in the comment section. Y'all, please believe it was one person. One person. This lady, and if you look at the video she's created on her channel, they mainly focused on Lily, Grams, and I don't know what it is about B, but she don't like B either. On those videos, what has she, she been always saying about find B? a reason to either mention her, us in her videos mm -hmm. or in the comment section. One of her little fake, fake accounts, she'll use those and she'll mention our name. But yeah, Nick and Kyle, it ain't that. And it's like when you do that, what you do is you cause our community to speak on you. Like or, this is uh, try to figure out who you are. Exactly. Which is what happened. <laughs> this is the first time we're ever speaking on MW on a public Guess platform. My. So in our Discord, again, originally her channel name was MW. It also, I think, did it have her uh, her first and last name on there, the Malika Wilson. When Discord originally found her, <clears throat> it was because she had her name yep. on her. So is that her real name? That's her government? Ooh, child. YouTube account. So, Got some um, investigators yeah. so out here. what happened is they found her initially. They posted a picture. It was a cute picture with her when she was in her feminine energy. Oh, shit. This is the picture that they're talking about that she's so pissed off about. Girl, this is what you mad about? It's a beautiful picture. It's okay. It's okay that you were feminine before. A lot of us were. <laughs> it's all right. A lot of these lesbians have children from their previous relationships. It doesn't mean you're not a lesbian. You could have been in feminine clothing, but could have still had that masculine energy. It's all right. But because you have that toxic masculinity, you're trying to overcompensate. Something about your past you did not like and you don't want to revisit. So you overcompensate that masculinity to prove to others that you're masculine. You don't got to do that. And you don't got to put that toxic shit onto others. Girl. Yeah. Um, and her kids and um her uh either husband or ex husband, I don't know the the the, the situation. And also keep in mind any information that I show on this screen is public information. Yeah. It's not on a private account. You can go search Malika right now, Malika Wilson, and her information will pop up on her old Facebook account. That's where the MW come in, yeah. She also has um, another account, a Facebook account, where it say Like Will. So I guess she wanted to shorten the Malika Wilson and, mm. and, and bring it to Like Will. Y'all, remember these names. Remember these names that we're telling y'all. I'm trying to. My memory's bad, though. Later, y'all are going to see why I'm telling y'all to remember these names. I'm kind of curious, too. Me, too. Yeah. But uh, So, yeah, so um, everything died down. I like Carla. She's very calculated. <laughs> Her thoughts are very organized. Mine are all over the place. 
only because my memory is terrible. So she's going she's going to put the pieces together for me soon. They posted the picture because, of course, we was like, oh, damn, OK. But um, what happened was King's Corner, when King's Corner started reacting and then she had they had that little moment where they was kind of getting into it with each other. Uh, King's uh, Malika, she actually tried to call a uh, attack King's masculinity she was like you, you feminine and all that you know just talking about how feminine she was key corner she's supposed to be a step right i mean i'm sorry hey look i'm just she just giving very very so you attacked hold on so you attacked king's corner for her masculine energy too do you see what i'm speaking on overcompensating for her own feelings about her own self. Ooh, that shit is ugly. I know she's heard of me by now because I've been talking about all of this and bringing up her name. I know she's been watching me too. There's no way that you haven't. Girl, I'm a stud. I've talked about this word before, but for those who missed it, the word stud originated by describing a man. The black culture brought it over to the lesbian community to describe a masculine presenting black woman. The Latino culture later embraced that word and we also use it to describe a Latina masculine presenting woman. So we use it too. I know the history of that word, okay guys? So don't come after me. But I'm also a stud. I'm masculine presenting, but I have feminine energy. Now what you gonna say about me, OG? I'm not out here trying to overcompensate. I know who the fuck I am. I'm 38 years old. Been knowing who the fuck I am for a long time. So that aggressive energy that you have over there on that side, don't bring it this way, please. Thank you. I didn't mean of, of, um, my ex, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, bro. So then King was like, uh, I'm in the Discord too, baby. I seen the picture. So they dropped the picture in there again. Damn. Uh, Malika, I missed that video. Her husband. Shout out to Saul. And uh her, That's her, why she's mad at King's Corner. Oh my god, man, I missed all the drama. Oof, I just got in. Beautiful children. Oh, either her baby daddy. I oh mean. yeah whatever baby dad husband <laughs> and also please read the disclaimer as well unless i put hard facts evidence or receipts then all this can be considered alleged yeah but right. um yeah so we saw the they posted the picture no one said anything bad about her uh kids or nothing it's really mm -hmm. no different than again when the shade room uh see celebrities post their babies they take the picture and put it on a platform and people in the comment section talk about it yeah. only thing in the shade room they get ruthless in our discord we have moderators and they try to make sure nothing gets too crazy or out of control so it was having a conversation like damn just in 2015 ish you was just you know for lack of a better way to that's say that's why 2015 I, I hate math so let me use my fingers 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 Okay, nine years. That's that's pretty decent. I mean, you should have already gone through that transition phase. But it seems like there's some trauma there that you can't get over. Hey, this like sliding up and down. Most likely could have been sliding up and down Saul's, you know, pole. Yeah. But you are attacking you in your dress, you and your feminine energy. But you're attacking uh, King's femininity. So King actually made a video responding to her again, and she just simply used the picture of. Malika in her thumbnail and <laughs> Malika yeah. it's like she just spassed the fuck out I have been masculine presenting the problem was I tried to be something that I wasn't for a quick second and that's how the children came about but thank God the children what is you see what I'm talking about something about her past she does not like she said for a quick second girl you did not have all those kids in one second okay that's okay we all have a past I've kissed a couple boys before before I knew who I was. It's all right. Came about. And I'm going to just say this. Your truth is your truth. But those beautiful children were not created in a quick second. I mean, maybe you tried it for a second, left, came back, tried again, left again, came back. But no, them, they, they didn't happen in a, in a quick second. Now, I ain't got kids of my own, but I know that it happened <laughs> in a quick second. We know all about the birds and the bees. Um, she said 
my sister it was something like it's seconds away from contacting an attorney you know, she was like you need to, to take her picture down and as you can see the screenshot it says lw cali i'm assuming that may be short for her like will alias she likes to go by but it says yo this is og listen i don't mind you coming at me not at all do you but don't come for my family take my sister's pic off your page that's not me and she is two seconds away from suing you mm -hmm. now this time the sister was president so the sister was about to contact the attorney and then um you know king was just like you know what uh, i'm gonna go ahead and take the picture down so king took the picture down and that was very nice of you because you didn't have to do that so she should have appreciated that and then i think somebody else did a reaction and used the picture or something <laughs> So um, it's going King around. Had, I don't know if King had a conversation with that reactor or not, but I just know they both had the decency to take that picture down, which at the end of the day, okay. it's all public information. We're sharing our story. We're having commentary on it. Yeah. It's like. So that's why she sent out the cease and desist letters to King's Corner, because her communicating with these reactors, telling them to bring it down because her sister is going to sue them was working. It worked those two times. So she thought sending out that letter was going to work again. Oh, my God. Good for them. That's, that was really nice of them. But um, I think another part of the conversation then that spewed up in the Discord was her sister. So Malika claims that she has, quote, unquote, spies in our Discord. Please know that I have people in the fucking Discords that's watching y'all motherfuckers and that's recording shit. Which keep in mind, our Discord is on a private server. You could either have it public or private, um, meaning we take our members through multiple verification steps before they can actually become active in our community. Um, so even though it's not a sure thing to protect us from fake accounts and things like that, I wouldn't be surprised if she didn't have a f several fake accounts inside of our Discord as well, just based off of her actions it's easy past. to do that yeah but um what happened was she claimed that her spies was sending her screenshots of things that were happening in our discord and uh she began to attack some of our discord members and she went from telling king's corner that her sister was seconds away from suing her to uh the fact that her sister is missing i have said on multiple videos did I have a sister? In which I think Malika talks so much that it's hard for her to keep up with her lies. But this screenshot was from 10 months ago where she actually says that I am the eldest child of two baby brothers. I've also addressed that we can't find her. And I've also addressed that I don't even want to discuss it. Since we all know now that she doesn't have a sister, right? And that woman in the picture she claims to be her sister, which we all know is her. From my perspective, watching all this, it seems to me that she looks at this person as a person who has passed or who is missing, which is a person that she used to be. Now, I'm not saying that she is trans, but a lot of transgendered people go through this. They have a death date in which that person that they used to be no longer exists, and they have a new birth date in which the person that they are today was born. So the way she's speaking about this sister of hers that is missing, in my opinion, she's speaking in third person because she may be trans. And this is just me speaking my opinion. I obviously don't know, but that's what I'm getting from it. That's why she's getting so angry that all of this is coming out and connecting the two together as one person. She no longer identifies as that person at all as if she never existed, opinion she, of mine. She told King's Corner that her- I look at things a lot more deeper. That's why people love my reaction channel. It's because I go in a little more deeper than the face value. The one that she's now claiming is missing was two seconds away from suing her. You out here spreading fucking lies. You don't know who I am. You don't know anyone that fucking knows me. Why the fuck would you just assume that's me? And if you really look at the picture, you dumbass, you see that, that, that my sister's way heavier than I am. You know what I'm saying? Almost as heavy as your fucking fat ass. I mean, I hear what she's saying, and we all have our gold weights and everything. But just to play around with the narrative that she wants us to believe now. She probably this lost is weight. Her sister, her sister doesn't look heavier than her. Because 
Right. Ironically, uh, Malika has a mole on her lip. So that's when uh, they put a side by side with Malika. It's almost like you have somebody trying to pee on your head and tell you it's raining. Yeah. Right. Like, I can clearly see that this is your face, and I can clearly see that this is, is her face. She even tried to say they had a, uh, she was a, uh, what, 15 months older than she tried to post the old picture of them as babies. And it's like, no, no. It's like, I don't know what it is she's running from. Even twins don't yeah, have the they same were, exact face, beauty mark. Right, and face and all that. In the same, on the same area of your lip. But, um. Right. Nonetheless, uh, that that's her claim is that it's her sister. It's like she starts spazzing out of them. What she did was she started pulling people uh, out of, uh, she started targeting people on the Discord, and she got real upset, foaming at the mouth sound like, and she started cussing out this one girl. Oh, it's God. like she tried to get on camera, and she tried to act like, oh, I'm here to save and be the protector <laughs> of bullies. Yes. Y'all, she do she's that the biggest, and worse. She's the she, biggest bully. But she do it in the shadows. Yeah. Uh-huh. She likes to but today, throw the rock and hide her hand. But today, you gonna come out them shadows, yeah. and people are gonna see what you're really doing. Yeah. You like to say we bully and harass, but we're about to show the people who really is the harasser and the bully so check this so again they in the discord having a conversation me and my wife we try to be in the discord and kiki with our people as much as we can but for the most part they're running that we got moderators to make sure nothing gets out of hand for the most part we driving that motherfucking truck that's what we're doing so it's like she took that information like let's take the she was like let's take the focus off of the fact that, yeah, even though I'm attacking King's femininity, her masculinity, all of that, um, and I was just a fucking woman with my man uh, in these family pictures in 2015. Let's take the attention off of that. So she makes these long-ass videos accusing me and my wife of um, being involved in a case or something with kids or what did she say, cyberbullying, doing something with uh, uh, talking about our kids. Trying to we, make it seem like we're doing something malicious yeah. to, I guess, get somebody to pull up her kid's picture and talking about people are kidnapping kids. But then not only mm. that, the kids grown too. Let's the put kids that are there. grown now. Okay, so in the last video that I reacted to, I was questioning, what is you talking about these minors? I missed something. So they're explaining it here. Okay, thank you, ladies. So even though, yes, that picture, they were young, they're grown, and she showed them proudly on her own community tab, Mm. right? But then not only that, she contacts her brother and gets her brother involved, which the brother must not have common sense either because (laughs) I would need to understand why why is this happening. So he listened to a one-sided story. And this particular individual starts reaching out to a client that we're working with on our vlog channel. Oh, Again, shit. Again, spreading false information. Oh, which shit. Is what they like to say is defamation, saying that we're involved in a case oh, dealing with young kids. With minors. And just really think about this. We have never had a conversation with MW aside from her leaving comments on our videos and would she disagree with our opinions? She then creates her own videos, find reasons to mention our name, which we have a growing community. They start discussing her past, which is on the Internet, on public information. So we go from that to now her brother reaching out to our client, one of our clients, and spreading this false information. This is an example mm. of defamation of character. That so that is a case you ca- you ladies can win. Clients can choose not to work with them anymore because of the things you're saying and portraying it as facts. And from what it seems like, it's false information. So you're taking money out of their pockets, which is because of the reputation you have created for them. That you can definitely sue for. Oh my god. And we've never had a conversation with this person. And now the brother is on our Instagram leaving messages, leaving comments. Mm. We didn't respond. So then what did he do? He go to one of our clients. How do he know about this? Because M.W. Malika watches our every freaking move. He goes to one of our clients and he quote, this is what he told them. 
So he pretty much said that he sent our client a message because he was sure, I'm sure they don't want their employees involved in a cyber stalking lawsuit involving the inappropriate usage of images of minors. First and foremost, listen to how disgusting that sounds. Right. Second off, thank God our client know that that's BS and we don't move like that. And they just saw it as spam and flick that shit out of their inbox. But third off, look at how disgusting these people are moving. We do not know y'all. If you want to see a example of defamation of character, that's it. We can't control you, especially if the brother is famous. When you post a video, What's the brother? Sir, that's you can't him? control what people say about other people in your comment section. The most you can do is moderate. But at the end of the... I don't care who the fuck is famous and who the fuck is not. We all shit the same way. We all bleed the same way. You are no different. I don't give a fuck what kind of music video he has and how many views he's got. The fuck? You're not going to be held responsible for the conversations that those people have about something else. In your but you know what? Since you want to talk about famous, that must mean he's got money, right? Because these girls can sue him. <laughs> Since you want to talk about him being famous and everything. Comment section. It's the same for MW and she have all the comments talking shit about us and her comment section. Can we sue you for that? No. The information that these people found on you was public information. And again, they were not even talking negative. There was no negative connotation when it came to your kids. So stop trying to spread that narrative. If anything, they're having a discussion about you because you attacked King's Corner. Let's take accountability for the part you played in this. Y'all, yeah, listen how, how that sounds. They right. actually put this on our client's Instagram, Instagram page. Yes, I'm like, thankfully, first and foremost. Because that statement is not in full detail. Reading this, we can all assume something. You get what I'm saying? Something that it's not. What if we were employees of our client mm -hmm. and they could just they see that and they fire us and that was our way to like really take care of ourselves look yeah. at how dirty and grimy this bitch is Ooh. yeah you know why because as i mentioned in the last Pisces. video they love to say somebody's hating on them but what's more low down than you trying to mess with somebody's livelihood but i think the biggest point that um i want to point out is that she has inserted herself, but not only has she inserted herself in the midst of this, she has inserted herself in the midst of things that we have going on. She's inserted herself into our discord. Mm. That's how she knew what was going on, but she making it seem like somebody emailed her. But then not only that, you want to make it seem like the things that are going on in our discord or that people are saying about you that you can take those things and you can run to court our discord is no different than your youtube comments if you can take us to court for our discord comments we can take you to court for your youtube comments now listen to how dumb that sounds i'm about to take you to court because of all those accounts and it's like talking shit about me and carla i'm about to take you to court for that yeah, like, it just can't be done. Again, it's people expressing their opinion. If that's the case, everybody around the world will get sued. Yeah, but then we also had a moment where, uh, let's say, when everything was escalating in the Discord, after she found uh, our Discord member, cussed her out, oh, blasted but then her. Not, oh, yeah, and posted her picture. Posted a picture. On her community section so that she wanted people to troll her. Yes. She wanted people to harass this girl. Which most of the accounts would have just been her from separate accounts anyways. <laughs> um, but then after she did that and then she went in King's Corner uh, DM and started cussing out, then she went into our Discord, I mean, uh, account, our inbox. Yeah. And she started, like, asking, where y'all at? Are y'all still in Cali? And then let me ask you one more question. Are you still in Cali? If you two are in Cali and you want to talk to me, I have no problem talking to you. You know what I'm saying? I'll pull up. Let me know where you at if you in Cali. I have no problem. Matter of fact, you ain't got to let me know. Call me. You know what I'm saying? You can call me through Instagram. Call me. First and foremost, how the fuck you even know we in Cali? Why are you watching, watching us, us so much? Like That's crazy. Are you still in Cali? And then she disrespecting my wife, calling her ape and all that. And yeah. then she lying, saying she didn't do it. And then turn around, you see on camera that she did do it. Like this girl, this lady is crazy. She's 50 years old. That's sad, She even lied yo. about her age. 50 yes. fucking had, years uh, her old. Her brother, 
who I what guess he's famous. Doing? I've never heard of him, but he could be famous. So- OG, shouldn't you be at home, close to retiring, peeking out the window, complaining about your neighbors? Not cutting their lawn or something. Why are you in these YouTube streets? Or else, I mean, if he is good for him, uh, but by the way, I see that she lives in San Diego. I love San Diego. I was there for nine months. Love that place. At him, um, he they do stories. They did a story on him or something where he did the interview and he told about his life and he said he got a sister. I think that's like thirteen years older than him or something like that. And here's that screenshot right here. This source, as well as other sources, will be cited in our description if you want to see any of this public information yourself. But mm. it says, I really started writing poetry in third grade. My grandmother gave me four huge stacks of paper on the first day of Hanukkah one year, and I was so excited. My sister is 13 years older than me, so I pretty much was an only child. And I guess the biggest thing is when mm. the discussion of her age came about, Damn. And we said, okay, well, that would make her 50. Then all of a sudden, she decided to change her age to 40s. You all apparently think I'm a like her. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. You know, I'm 44 years old. Well, I'll be 44. I'm 43. You know, but I don't need to explain that. So, so again, when the Internet start having the conversation about her being 50, which is nothing wrong with that, things begin to change again. She had a TikTok that had the correct year in there, 1973. Hold on, look at that. You see how she has to put in her description, lesbian stud? Again, overcompensating. Like, in case you don't know, I am a stud. It's in her description. And by the way, all these lies, you guys, this is why I am not a liar. This is why I despise liars. The truth always comes into the light. Always. God just puts a flashlight on it. Why spend all that time lying? That's too much energy wasted. Which will make her 50 turning 51 this year. It's almost like she abandoned that TikTok and went to a new one. And then also notice she switched the year in her Instagram name to uh, 1980 something. Mm. So she just switched her age because I guess she no longer wants to be 50. And he like, you can see his age. <laughs> And her age add up. And at one point she had on her age, that she, I mean, her year is 1973. Then she started changing and saying, I ain't 50. I'm, I'm 40. Oh, like, bitch, you can't lot. just change your age because you want to. <laughs> right? Liars like to hang out together. That's why her and Grams got together. Simple explanation. But the thing is, y'all, it's how I told somebody in our Discord one day. The goal is to get old in life. Yeah, but wise, so, too. You want to be wise. Just because you put wise on there don't mean you wise. Right. So hey. why are you backtracking about your age? It's like I am my I am my age, y'all, and I don't have to lie about it. Right. It's like it is what it is. That's why I sit up here and I speak the way I speak so that y'all can see that I am knowledgeable. Right. I don't, again, have to just say that I'm wise. Right. Right, right. And but, then another uh, thing, too, that she's ahead. lying about that we need to put out there, too. She's saying it's like you'll see her do it, and then she'll take the time to do it from her anonymous account. So if you see that stuff in the comment section, just know nine times out of ten is her. Grounds <laughs> might be doing some shit, too. I don't know. Oh my but God. I'm just gonna stick to her that but sucks. there's this accusation <laughs> that me and carla has posted uh graham's address and uh grams they was dropping people's home addresses and shit we got graham's home address her job her phone number damn near social security number why if we if we were them type of people why we ain't posting that shit now yeah because we are not those type of people stop putting that on us yeah. If anything, how did Graham's uh, address get uh, leaked initially? It was from Avery when her and Avery was oh, together. For real? Avery was trying to show off Sorry. that they was getting orders and sending out packages. And then when somebody uh. blasted her and said, you showed your address, she tried to come back and do a video and say, that's my old address. So but uh. it was really their address. So the type of shit we dealing with. So yeah. again, she's pulling it. Malika's pulling that. And she's going around and saying, Nick and Carla uh, leaking Graham's address. She had to move out of her apartment, out of her <laughs> home. Motherfuckers that I know have had to move twice because niggas drop address. Y'all think that shit is cool? Fuck out of here, you dumb, fat ass, sloppy Joe looking motherfucker. Girl. She's oh scared. My God. That, Why is she that, angry? Uh, that, that she's going to be threatened. 
Bitch, be bitch, it ain't your address. Why are you so angry? Who hurt you, girl? Who hurt you? How many people hurt you? You still have not healed from it. Real for real. Yeah. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like that. And y'all, I remember one time something did happen in Discord and just so happened I was in there. Lily address got dropped and I pulled it out and I told them we do not do that. And it's people that can actually attest to that that was in Discord. Like, we don't do that type of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't fuck with that either. I don't yes. like that. So, um, I know my OG subscribers don't do it because they never have all these years. But to all my new subbies, we don't do that here neither. Okay? I just want you guys to enjoy the content. Leave comments. Give me your opinion. That's it. Don't do your research. Don't do some investigative shit because I'm going to ignore it. I'm just reacting to their videos. Okay? So, please... Don't put that energy over here. So we got to put that out there. Um, that's what we've been dealing with. And um, I hope this lady gets some help because she's ne she needs it. Well, I just want to go on record and I just want to tell her to leave us the fuck alone. <laughs> Stop gonna contacting happen. our client because this is how, again, we know you have something to do with Grams. Because Grams, I don't think she know nothing about the client. The cease and desist was also sent to them. Thankfully, they know that we ain't known that type of bullshit. And when they seen what your brother posted, they flicked that shit out of there because it's like, what <laughs> the fuck are y'all doing? Yeah. And then, but do we know for a fact that it was sent? I think just it said that it was sent. Yeah, she do lie a lot. Uh, yeah, our client has not contacted us, but in the event, if it did get sent and if it bothers, if it messed with the relationship we have with this client, then it's going to be some other stuff that's going to go Lawsuit. down. Lawsuit. The only reason why you two have not received a cease and desist order is because we do not have your physical address. There's no way possible that you can receive one unless it's sent via email. But, you know, I find it very interesting that when you sent King's Corner's mm. cease and desist mm. letter, you sent it via her Instagram DM. I go to Instagram, checking, you know, my DMs, and um, I go to my my inbox on instagram why well, i got hold on hold on girl she did not send it to nick and carla because she knows what they're capable of she was nervous to send it to nick and carla because they would do their research they will hire an attorney and that scared her for whatever reason she thought king's corner would fall for her bullshit and that's why she only sent it to her that's what i'm guessing from another youtuber just like you had no issue with sending us those annoying voice messages in our dm you could have done the same. But what I do ask is if you do send a cease and desist letter our way, please put your legal information. I want your legal name, your legal physical address, or your legal email address because there's no way to contact you at this time. Mm. I don't want a cease and desist letter that's signed OGYs when that's not your name. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all so that's much so for tuning funny. in. Go ahead and comment below your thoughts. Uh, also, oh. if... There's go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> if there is anyone because we're trying to see what we're dealing with if yeah. there's anyone who knows this Malika Wilson person if it's something that she's running from or or you have more information that that can help us with what we're building on our end please email us Ooh. at Nick and Carla at gmail.com uh, no no information <laughs> is too small we just want to know what we're dealing They're with building we know a this case, lady ain't got it together we know she's watching our moves so we want to get a better understanding Understanding of what we're dealing with and add whatever you give us to what we already got on her mm -hmm. and that's that i have to go to work soon but i'm not gonna lie to y'all i think i might have to go into work late because i'm gonna edit this video and post this motherfucker see y'all in the next video peace